Hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, this is Julian, and today I'm going to show you guys how to do a cabin air filter change in your new car or any car. Uh, specifically, this is a, a Honda. This is a 2016 Honda Civic. This is the LX trim model. Uh, it's considered the base model, but it should, you know, this same filter change should be the same for any other trim model uh, out there. And if you have a different car, this could, you know, benefit you as well. But it might be a little bit more tougher for you to get to your cabin air filter because in some other cars, uh, your cabin air filter will sometimes be in the uh, engine bay or it would be uh, behind this uh, glove compartment, uh, which Honda made really easy for you to change out. So, so what you do here is uh, just open up your uh, your glove compartment and you want to squeeze this here and this here both together. Uh, I can't really show you guys because I only have one hand to do this, but uh, give me a second. So once you do that, uh, squeeze them both together, these, the sides, pull them down because it has these little uh, these little things here guarding it from falling down. Uh, you're going to see this and you should thank Honda for doing this because this is really easy to do. But uh, just stick your hand in here. You're gonna feel like a little tab. Feel for a little tab around here, right here. Just click it until it pops out. Same same thing for this side. It's a little hard to do this with one hand, but uh, just give me a second, guys. You're gonna see this direction of the airflow. And you'll have the filter exposed. Now I'm doing this change at 13,000 miles. Typically you wanna do this every so, about every three months maybe, or every 10,000 miles, maybe even five if you just wanna be even more safer. Uh, and this is a stock filter that came with the car when I bought it. So it's gonna look really cheap pull it out it already looks dirty yep. there you go that's that's 13,000 miles for you guys bunch of uh, these little things here a lot of dirt it's not too dirty but you know it has all these things and it's really not safe to breathe and this is if you're wondering why your AC is not blowing out too cold it's probably because of this uh, filter here gets dirty so we're gonna throw this to the side and get our new one out. This one I bought uh, at O'Reilly's. And I'm a little upset because I thought it was gonna be a lot cheaper, but it actually came out, uh, retail price is $27.49. After taxes, I ended up paying $29.76, um, which is a lot of money. And I was, I looked at this uh, guy's video that showed the same, you know, how to change a filter out. Uh, his YouTube channel will be in the description if you guys want to check him out. I think his, I can't remember his, his, his channel name is like Milan something. Um, and he, he drives a Honda Accord and whatnot, but he says that, you know, filters should run you about seven to eight bucks, depending on which one you get, like a carbon would usually be cheaper. Cause the one I got here is just a regular one. It's not a carbon or anything. Um, this is a micro guard maximum efficiency. Uh, and it's just a regular one. It's not a carbon or anything like that. Um, which I should have got when well, next time I will get a carbon because it's so dang expensive um, And I went to O'Reilly's I got that one there I went to AutoZone to see if I can find a cheaper one and they're all about the same uh, Price and well, my guess is that if your car is a lot newer like in a year like mine's a 2016 It'll be a little bit more expensive to buy like replacing parts and whatnot Because I think his Accord is like older, but Anyways, guys, I mean, the price doesn't matter to you, so, you know, this would be the filter to get right here. This is a micro guard, so let's go ahead and bust into it and uh, put this filter in. One-handed. Yeah, pretty tough. You can see how clean, a lot more cleaner this one is uh, compared 
compared to uh, this one right here. Look how cleaner that one is. All right, give me a second. All right, so now we got our new filter here. And the way you wanna put this in is the direction of the airflow. So if you remember, this little tab here says the airflow was pointing down. So the way you wanna put this back in is with the arrows facing down. Now you wanna stick it in with these sides, these solid sides, because it'll slide in a lot more better and it, that's the way it should go in. And uh, this flimsy part will stay facing you. Just to compare it one more time, guys. That's the new filter, that's the old filter. Look how much cleaner this one is, man. Let's go ahead and stick this one in. See if I can do it with one hand again. All right. Just sliding in. Now, I'm not really liking this too much because it feels really, really flimsy. Really flimsy. I don't like that at all. You can hear that too. 